up everybody it's your boy mc from mc tv welcome back i know it's been a while let's talk about a little something right now you know with the disrespect with dana white and how he treated francis and gano wasn't there wasn't representing him having some type of what some differences with him i don't understand what it is francis and gano seems like a very humble man he's bringing a lot of attention he's done a lot of great things in the sport and he's came from nothing i think he's already paid his respects to dana white i think dana white really disrespected him and uh just because you know he allowed conor mcgregor to box floyd mayweather and you know dana white just has something against boxing that's disrespectful in itself alone being competitor is one thing but being just a nasty person is a whole nother you know um and he wants to be the face of the ufc that's why i'm glad that habib Nurmagomedov had made eagle fc because we get to have someone else even though he's looking to dana white you know to be his role model when it comes to you know marketing these types of fight events you know we still have something else to look forward to seeing other than dana white you know it gets boring and played out you know seeing this fake face money hungry dude who's not paying his fighters what they deserve these guys are truly injuring themselves in the ring life-threatening injuries um but yeah let's uh get to the meat of this topic and what i want to talk about is tyson fury um, I know it took a while to get there over a minute, but Tyson Fury is an absolute cheating fake. You know, I'm not ever going to dismiss that fact right there. You know, he cheated against Deontay Wilder three different times, steroids arguably on all three different times, can't even fight in his own country till this day. You know, um, it was an inside job. Y'all know what it is. One of them conspiracy things where other people were involved, unexplained things that are, you know, because you had other, uh, other people inside. But, you know, my thing is this. Francis Ngannou, with the way he's been treated, he's not getting paid enough for the work that he's putting in. He even fought against Surreal Gone with um, a messed up ACL. And if anybody has shoulder injuries, knee injuries, any place on a body that has cartilage in it, when that gets injured, that is a horrible injury. It's debilitating. It destabilizes you. It makes you off balance. Things are very uncomfortable. And those injuries take an immense amount of time just to recover if they even recover at all you know and Gano went in there with them knee pads you know and he did what he had to do you know what I'm saying and he did his thing you know and he didn't get paid enough and he deserves more money and there's many other opportunities for him so for what he's already done for the UFC and what he's accomplished you know I think he should be able to, you know, fight Tyson Fury or have a... It doesn't have to be Fury. He can make millions fighting any other heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can go against King Kong, Ortiz, Anthony Ruiz, Joshua, even Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? Like, and of course, he's not the best boxer. He's been training in UFC, so don't expect anything super crazy. But expect a grown man to get in that ring that's supersized and has immense power and strength, albeit, yes, he needs to work on his cardio. But let's just be real, the man's not even on steroids as far as we're concerned, and no. So at least he's a clean fighter, you know what I'm saying? We know he's not going to go in there cheating. And he does have a chance, and considering how far he's evolved in the octagon, I think he could do anything inside of that ring with some boxing gloves on. I think he could knock the hell out of Tyson Fury. In fact, I don't think Tyson Fury's fought a guy as big as uh, Francis Ngannou and a guy that possesses that much power. Give Francis Ngannou six months to a year to keep his weight and focus nothing but on stamina and cardio and just boxing IQ. I guarantee you, you'll have a different monster in that ring. You know, um, two million. I, I heard. I, I don't know if someone's trying to recruit him because to a different uh, Ngannou trying to recruit him to a different um, boxing camp. I mean, to a fighting camp, MMA camp, or what? Or if that was Tyson Fury's offer, but two million is a little shy. You know, uh, I think Ngannou deserves five million plus easily. You know, and if he has a mega fight with anybody, he should be reaping in easily 10 mil plus cash. You know what I'm saying? He, he's definitely worthy of that type of payday and more, um, considering what past fighters have gotten. He's a heavyweight. Um, yeah, you know, um, Francis Ngannou is the man, you know, but Tyson Fury is not. And y'all know what it is. It's your boy MC from MCTV. I'm glad to be back. I had to make a longer video. I'm going to have to make some longer ones. I know what it is.